Hello, Insta360 community. Uh, I'm Ron Kleinschmidt, and we're here in sunny Sarasota, Florida at the Mars Vision Production Studio. Uh, and here today, I'm here to tell you about uh, going live with your Insta360 ONE X and uh, your iOS device, okay? Now, I have the Insta360 ONE X here. Um, I have a Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus running Android, and they have sent me the transfer cable for Droid. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get into that now. Um, what we're going to do is open up the package first. Now you get two cords in here. One's for a micro USB, and the other one is USB Type C. Uh, today we need USB Type C, so I'm going to grab that one. And just move that over there. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it right into the phone. Right there. Okay. And I'm going to unsheath my Insta360 ONE X and bring it here. I got a little tabletop tripod there. And I'm going to load my phone in my little bracket here so we can see everything. All right. Next, I'm going to plug it right into the Insta360 ONE X camera and turn that sucker on. Now today's Saturday, uh, so I'm taking it easy today. I have my Star Wars Darth Vader t-shirt on. Um, so I'm not going to be all dressed up like I would during the week. All right, so we're going to start up the phone here. I was already in the app. Um, let me go ahead and just uh, launch it from here. So now, uh, when you open up your app, you know, you get that little uh, startup splash screen here. You can check your album, and if you click on there, um, it'll give you the um, view of your camera. So there's the camera there, and I can just move around like you would normally in your 360 space. There's all the studio, the cameras, um, there's the set, there's me. Okay, so obviously you see all the options down here that you would normally see. Um, you have the uh, photo, you have video, and then you have two live uh, buttons here. Now one is to go live in 360. Now what that means is that the viewer themselves can move around in the 360 space at their leisure, at their will, that they can do it. And then the other one is for if you want to go live, but you want to control what the viewer sees. They can't control it, only you can. So you can move around in 360 space and then uh, show them what you want to show them instead of them viewing it however they want, okay? So we're going to go live in both just so we can see how they both work, okay? So let me go right down here. I'm going to click on the live 360. We'll do that guy first. All right, so bam, there it is, okay? Now we have some settings that you can adjust right down here with the little gear. All right, so these are like your camera settings. You have uh, megabytes per second, you have your resolution, you have, you can be manual or auto. Um, I'm in manual right now. So let's go ahead and mess with your megabytes per second. You can go all the way from one megabytes per second to eight. Um, if you're on a high speed connection like we are here in the studio, um, I recommend being at the highest um, megabytes per second. Um, so, but if you're on like cellular service and you're out doing live, you're going to be want to be in a lower one. So we're going to go with eight. Okay. Oops. So there we got eight, and then our resolution we can go from 720p, 960p, 1080p, 1280p, or 4K. Uh, again, since we're on the higher connection here, we're going to go with 4K. And then I like to uh, adjust my settings manually. This is what auto looks like here. But I noticed with auto, a lot of times the ISO is usually a little too high for me. It lets a lot of grain in there. So I go with manual. And then I set my ISO down to 100. And since we're shooting 30 frames per second, I'm going to uh, be at 1 60th of a second on my shutter. And then I always leave my white balance for auto. I just noticed that the camera doesn't do a great job white balancing with the other presets. So that could be something that they could look into. But auto works really well. Okay, so now that we're done with the camera settings, we're going to move right into your streaming settings. Right now, you have um, uh, some different options here. You have Facebook, YouTube, Webio, and others. Um, we're going to go with Facebook today. Um, it's all pretty much the same for all of them. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlink my account just so I can kind of show you what it looks like when you're linking your account. Um, so right now, what you're going to want to do is link your Facebook account here. So click there, and then it's going to run you through some things. Uh, 
you know, do you give them permission uh, to post things and, uh, you know, they have your information, your profile picture and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to click continue. And then you get a next one. Uh, would you like to post content? You would let Insta360 post content. So you're going to click OK. Right. So now you are um, connected there uh, with your streaming settings. And now you can go to share to. You can share to a page, a group that you manage. Uh, and you can share to um, you know your timeline, either public friends or only me. Right, I had only me checked because we were doing tests. So now I'm going to go to public. So it's going to publicly go to the page, and you hit confirm. So now you want to put a little description here. Um, you know, Insta, Insta 360 test. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to hit confirm. And the next thing that I need to do is just click this live. So I'm clicking live, and it's going through a little bit. And now I have the little counter here. Um, a couple things that you should look at is here, uh, the little eyeballs uh, gives you who's watching or how many people are watching. Um, the other one is for comments. The other one is for uh, reactions, likes and loves and stuff like that. So now we've been live for a few seconds here. I'm going to open up my iPad. Let's see here. All right, I am now live on my page. Okay, so now I'm live on my page here. I'm gonna go ahead and share this into um, some of the groups here. So I'm gonna to share to a group, and then I'm just gonna go through and uh, hit share. So we're going to share in all of these groups that I have here. Hopefully we got a lot of watchers today. All right, that's enough for now. Okay, so now I have uh, put those um, in some groups there. So if you're watching in any of those groups, you could go in the timeline and see the uh, live shot there. And now you can see that um, either you can move your, your device around and it'll move, or you can put your finger on there. And now this is where the viewer themselves, they can view the um, 360 video at whichever angle that they choose. You can go like that. Uh, I don't know if you can make little planets, but you can zoom out a little bit. There we go. That's pretty cool, right? So that is going live um, for if you want the viewer to be able to control the live um, to see where the camera is going. Um, so we've been live there for almost two minutes. Uh, we've had six viewers, seven viewers on that, eight viewers on that live. Um, and we've gotten one like on there. So that's pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and we can exit out of that one and we'll show you what the other live is like. So I'm going to stop that. It's going to ask you, hey, we're going to stop live streaming. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. Confirm. And then this right here gives you like what the viewers were, the likes, and the runtime comments and everything. Confirm. Okay. So now that was pretty easy. Next thing we're going to go, we're going to go to the live that uh, you control what the viewer sees, so live right there. And your, your streaming settings will remain the same. You won't have to redo those, um, but you might have to adjust your uh, settings for the camera. Um, six megabytes per second, and this way is as far as you can go. 1280 is the highest resolution. Um, and we're still in manual, and all those settings are the same. Okay, so it's the same as the other one if you wanna adjust settings. And then we'll click the gear. And now uh, we'll just double check. We're still, oh, I want to share to public. Let's confirm that. All right, confirming. So now, as soon as that pops up, now I'm going to go live right here. This is where I'll be able to control what the viewer sees. And now we're live. So let's see if um, on my iPad here I can pull that guy up and then I'll share it in some groups here. All right, so now, all right, it's the 360 test. Let's see if I can move that around. That's the same one. It hasn't come up yet. We're almost there. I control 360, that's the one. So this is the one where I control what the viewer sees, right? Okay, 
So now let me share this to some groups. So I'm going to go ahead and share this one to some groups uh, and all of the Insta360 ones, that's for sure. All right. So um, I'm a wedding videographer too, and um, I, I, this would be cool to use in weddings. I, I've done it a couple times, um, but it's definitely really cool. You could go live and uh, people can look around themselves or you can have it to be where um, um, they, you control what they see. So I've shared that to some groups now. We've got about five, six viewers um, so far. I've been streaming for about a minute and a half and then you, you just say, oh, I want the people to see me right now. So then you control that. Now, let's say if you had like a bride walking in, you know, you could like, oh, I'll follow the bride with this little movement of my finger. And then she could pass by if I had a bride there. Right now, you just see the studio and all the lights and the rigging and the AC and stuff. So, um, but that is really cool if you uh, want to be able to control what the viewer sees. Um, and the other one's cool if you want people to be able to control what they see at their own will. And um, if they have a VR headset, they could put it on and view it that way as well. So, I'm, oh, Brandon uh, Soda Nadal said, uh, yo, haha, I got one comment there. All right. Cool, so I'm going to go ahead and stop that live stream. Again, it asks you, are you sure you want to stop the live streaming? And yes, we do. And then it gives you your little breakdown of viewers and comments and such. And then that is it. Um, that is live streaming with the Insta360 ONE X. Um, again, the only gripes that I have here is that the cord is a little too short. So if you wanted to be like... Uh, farther away with your phone or your tablet controlling it, it would be more difficult. Um, it seems that I, I've tested other uh, cables and they, they didn't work for me. So it seems to be this uh, official one from Insta360 is the only one um, that I've seen work. Um, if anybody else has seen any work or have one that works, uh, let me know in the comments, send a link or something. Um, and then the last thing is that you're limited by the battery life of your, your device and your camera. Um, so if you say you had two hours of live streaming to do, you wouldn't be able to do the full two hours straight. Um, eventually the batteries would die. I think they, you know, this one will last probably about an hour. Um, so it'd be great if Insta360 could come up with a cord that could power and live stream, connect to the device and live stream uh, and have it be a bit longer. Um, but other than that, uh, it's like one of the coolest things. I mean, live streaming isn't that old and now we can do it in 360. So that's pretty cool. And you could be anywhere. Like if you're on a cellular service, you have good connection, you could be out at the beach, you could be around town, you could be in your car and go live anywhere. So uh, that's pretty cool, right? Anyways, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, I'm Ron Kleinschmitz, um, Insta360 ambassador here in sunny Sarasota, Florida at the Mars Vision Productions Studios. Hey, thanks for checking out the video today. If you like what you saw, go ahead and give us a little bit of a like there on the little thumbs uppy. And if you're really interested in seeing more from Film Sandwich, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're always updated every time we post a video. Also, we are currently an unsubscribed channel, so all the reviews here, everything that we do is all unpaid and comes out of our own pockets. So what we've done is we've put links to all the products that we review and use in our videos. And if you buy the products through those links, we get a little bit of ching ching so we can keep this channel going. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.